on to use to hold our ball. When we hold our ball, it's a Tai Chi imaginary ball. So kind of copy what I'm doing and notice where the top hand is, where the bottom hand is, where my hands are positioned when I have that full imaginary Tai Chi ball. So we are in good Tai Chi position or posture. Our shoulders should never be raised. As much as possible, they're relaxed, okay? You notice that the ball is a certain size. Your size of the ball is not the same size as mine, neither is it the same as others. But it all follows in that the top hand is chest level. Is your top hand chest level? Continue to do. The only way to get better is to do, okay? So if the top hand is chest level, let's look at the bottom hand. The bottom hand centers our, our ball by being two inches below our navel. We heard that before. That is our center of gravity. Now, I'm gonna turn this way. Okay, you can rest and wiggle around. I want you to see what you see outside of me. If there's nothing, then good, okay? So you do it with me, and do you notice when I hold my ball in a still position, what do you see? What do you see? You should see, you should not see my elbows. If you see my elbows, I am not doing good, a good job. So what is it that keeps me from not showing my elbows? I keep it in the, the ball in front of me, not in the, to the side of me. So how do you do that? You pull your ball in this way. You pull your ball in this way. Maybe pull is a strong word, but it's a word that helps you to understand the ball is not here. The ball is not here because you will then see my elbows. But the ball is pulled in this way or the positioning of your hands is pulled and overlap, not palm to palm, but almost elbow and palm, palm and elbow, okay? So you can spin your ball like you're doing. Another element that's essential is that the bottom hand advances, okay? No doing anything, watch what I'm doing and see what I mean when I say the bottom hand advances, okay? So do you know what, the, what it means now that the bottom head advances? Whenever you have a ball or whenever you move, it's the bottom hand that advances. It's never the top hand that advances. I'm having a hard time because that's not how the discipline goes. Whenever you have a ball, no matter what top hand you have, the bottom hand advances. Along the same line, if you can follow me before we try, if this is my left foot, my left hand will be on the bottom. Therefore, when I advance, my left foot advances, my left hand advances. Does that make sense? If I hold my ball and my right foot wants to go, my bottom hand has to be the advancing hand, right foot, right hand. That's how you can 
check to see whether your hand position is correct. Also, do you notice that my hand, when I form my ball, is never in a mumbled, jumbled way. It takes the top position. It comes out, bottom hand advances, right, right. I sit back. The top hand stays on the top. The other one grabs the bottom. So to do it maybe incorrectly, I'm going to push this guy out. But that doesn't make sense. So bottom hand advances. But if I don't understand that, I'll say, oh, maybe it's this way, which is wrong because my right foot has to come up. My right hand's on the top. The bottom hand advances. Okay, get, that gets a little bit more confusing, but if you can understand initially, the bottom hand advances, the right foot goes out, the bottom hand has to be the right. Okay, let's try that, okay? We're on a T stance. Okay, and you're in here to have fun. Don't be so cruel to yourself and be down and say, this is so hard and I can't understand it. That's not the right attitude, okay? All right. T stance, left hand on the bottom, because left foot is ready to go. Left hand on the bottom, two inches below your navel. Right hand at chest level, bring the ball in. Store that energy, taking an L stance, split the hands, bottom hand advances to part the wild horse's mane. Sit back and lower. Pivot, root down, left hand on the top, right hand on the bottom, bring it in on a T-stance, out on your heel, split your hand so that the bottom hand advances to part the wild horse's mane. Sit back and lower, pivot, right hand on the top on a T-stance to hold your ball, out on a heel, move that ball, split the hands, bottom hand advances to part the wild horse's mane. Sit back, sit down, pivot, left hand on the top, root down first, T and then the ball. Bring those arms in, L stance, right foot out, right hand on the bottom, part the wild horse's mane. Sit back, Sit down, pivot, right hand on the top as you root down on the right, left foot ready to go, left hand on the bottom. L stance, O stance. Sit back, sit down, pivot, hold your ball on a T, out and to the side, part the wild horse's mane. Sit back. Sit down, pivot, hold your ball on a T-stance and root down. Mm -hmm.